So today we're going to be replacing a valent diverter valve. Um, I'm going to get straight into it. So um, the most common reason why these need replacing is that you would have your heating coming on um, when you run a hot water tap. So I think nine out of 10 times it would be the diverter valve issue. Uh, we're going to get straight into it. Um, first little tip is if you want to put the diverter valve in mid position for when you drain down um, on these boilers, you would hold the plus button and then you would switch the boiler on while holding the button. And then you go P programs so you can put in P6, which will put the diverter valve in mid position. So we'll start with that. Once you've selected P6, click the I button. Now we've got it active. Now we can drain on a boiler. So normally we'll be closing the flow in return, but this is the highest point of the house. Um, so we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to go straight for the drain off. So for the drain down, hose in, open up. And then for the drain on, we've got hose that goes into a hose that goes into another hose. We got a lot of hose. Now, what we're gonna do, shut this valve off. Cold water feed, make sure that's off. No water. You know, I used to always shut this it's only the other day i realized when you open the filling loop i uh, close the filling loop it shuts off the whole water as well so yeah nice one um boiler drain down in terms of the diverter valve itself um we're gonna be removing this pump clip that can go we're going to be removing this cable and tuck it in somewhere. We're going to be removing this clip, which you usually when I get um, something, something on the lever it, flathead would be better. So that's pretty much it. Pump clip, connection, electrical connection, and then this clip for now. Then you've got one, two, and a third screw underneath. Right there. But before this, as the boiler's drained, we're gonna pump up the vessel. Don't you know we pump it up? As per usual, vessel's flat. So we gotta pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know I'll pump it up? Point seven five is good. Now you gotta check. Check if it's leaking. I've lost my sprayer. Bubbling, bubbling. Okay, so there's no leaks there, it's not bubbling. That's fine. We can move on. Right, the next step, we're gonna remove this pipe. So on this model, you are very lucky because you can just remove this nut, these nuts, and then pull out that pipe, right? Hopefully I have a chance to do a video on the other models where have to undo the back nut of this uh, because you don't have this uh, elbow piece here so what you have to do is undo the back nut 
that holds this pipe in place to allow you to loosen it but for this model you just get this pipe out i'm gonna change this washer that's another part done so we've got the pump clip out we've got the electrics out of the way we've got that pipe out of the way all you're gonna do now is undo the three screws so one Second one, and then the bottom will be the third one. What I would say is you have to be very careful with that bottom screw. I don't know if you can see, but it's very rusty. Um, so what I had to do is put a lot of pressure against it and actually got my big grips on here and while applying pressure I spun it to get it going because you don't want to um, you don't want to ruin the thread the head on that screw otherwise you're going to have to end up replacing the whole support bracket which is not fun so managed to free it up. We're gonna take that off now. Right, three screws undone. Now, the way this comes out, you wiggle it and move it to the left to pop it out of that section there. Slowly, slowly. Still gonna be a little bit of water in there, so I'm gonna catch that quickly. One second, so a little bit of water in there, that's fine. We'll deal with that. You wanna pull this out, and that's it. That's your valve out. So we're just gonna be doing everything backwards now. Put this on the side. What I'm gonna do is get rid of these these two washers. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Should probably bring a wet back, having to use tissue as I didn't bring mine in. I'm on a third floor flat, so I'm good. Just gonna tissue it up. New one. This is good stuff. Long screw, it's for the bottom, you'll see in a minute. First thing you'll do when you're getting in your rubbers, you're gonna lube them up. I would highly recommend lubing them up because it keeps them in place. Otherwise they slip off and that's a whole lot of headache as well. So lube that up. You lube those up, put them in. One. <laughs> Two. They kind of just rest on there. They don't really pop in or anything, so put a nice bit of loop so they hold on there. Oh, you get these two O rings. One's for this section. One will be for that section, which will go on that pipe that we've got on the side. This one right there. So we're gonna put one on here. That one's on there. Now, carefully, not violently because you knock off the washers or the rings at the back you want to slide it in at an angle get it into the pump hole there gently slide it over wiggle it a bit and get it in there there you go that's it so i mean at this point you can see that at the back that is flush. So I'm pretty sure the, the rings are sitting fine. You can grab your pump clip 
and at this point you can just put that in there just so it holds I'm trying to record I'm trying to look at the camera while I put that clip in there fiddly with one hand but it's there now I'm gonna put the three screws back on long screw at the bottom you want to guide it and get it in Come on, one hand. Screws tightened, screws tightened. Underneath, screws tightened. Pump clip in. You can even get this back on. It's there. Cool, last bit, pipe. So, preparation. New O-ring and new washer. So we're gonna take two of these off, put new ones on. New ring on. I'm gonna go straight in. Push that in now. If I can. I usually do this with my right hand. I actually needed two hands. One was supporting here, and one was pushing here. Slipped it in. It's all good. Now, clip. You have to stretch out a bit. Clip is on. Washer in this gap. Right there. Make sure it's nice and straight. Do it the nut. Should slide on just like that. Then you know you haven't cross threaded it. Now, tightening this nut is kind of um, tight, so you probably want like a fixed spanner to tighten this section here. It's quite close to the pump, so you can't really get anything nice on it. And that's all done. Everything's back in. If you're enjoying the video, please do drop a like. That's what I like. And um, yeah, divert a valve change. Uh, of course, we're gonna do our checks. Shut off the drain off, fill up the boiler, and get it back up and running. Boiler pressurized, no leaks. Very good. Don't forget to turn the water back on, test the taps, and we're gonna give that trap a bit of a clean because that looks filthy. Do, 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 do.